Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. This is Zainab Zaytoun. In this video, I'm gonna explain trigonometry for grade 9. The objectives of this video or this part of this chapter is to define or to define trigonometric lines in right triangles and find the measurement of angles and sides in right triangles using trigonometric ratios. Before we start with the chapter, I want to refresh your memory. So, in any right triangle, the hypotenuse is the side facing the right angle. And now suppose that we're looking at this angle Q, then the opposite side of Q would be the side facing Q, which is PR in this case, and the adjacent side of Q would be the side issued from the vertex other than the hypotenuse, so it will be RQ. Suppose that we're looking at P, then the opposite side of P would be RQ, and the adjacent side of P would be PR. Now let's start with our lesson. In order to introduce the lesson, you will need a GeoGebra. So this is uh, an angle uh, formed by these two lines. It's called alpha. Alpha is just a Greek letter. You can denote any angle by any letter you want. Um, this is, uh, I place a point A on this line. You can place it anywhere you want. And then B is the orthogonal projection of A on this line. Now I want you to pause the video and get your calculators. So I want you to calculate the ratio AB over OA. So 2.79 over 4.47. You should get 0 0.62. Now again, I'll move A on this line. So I'll place it here, for example. I want you to calculate the same ratio again. So AB over OA. So 2.02 over 3.23. Again, you will get 0 0.62. Now I'll keep moving A on this line. Notice that AB and OA are changing, but the ratio AB over OA is 0.62, which is fixed. Now what do we call this ratio? This ratio is called sine of alpha. That's how we define sine of alpha. So sine of alpha is AB over OA in this case, and notice that the triangle is right. To make it more general, sine alpha equal is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. First definition, uh, this is a right triangle and this is the angle theta, here it's called theta, it's also a Greek, Greek letter. So sine theta, as we said, is opposite side over hypotenuse. So this is the first definition. Let's go back to define the rest of the trigonometric ratios. Now I want you to calculate OB over OA, so 2.42 over 3.1. You should get 0 0.78. Now again, I'll keep moving A on this line. Notice that the values of OB and OA changes, but the ratio OB over OA is, uh, is also 0 0.78. So, what do we call this ratio now? This ratio is called cosine of alpha. So cosine of alpha is OB over OA. And to make it more general, in a right triangle, the cosine of this angle would be adjacent side over hypotenuse. So now we're done with the second trigonometric ratio. So cosine of alpha is adjacent side over hypotenuse. We still have one trigonometric ratio. Now calculate the ratio AB over OB. You will get, you will get 0 0.8. I move A and calculate it again and again. You will still get 0 0.8. Now this ratio is defined as tangent alpha. So tangent alpha in a right triangle would be opposite side over adjacent side. So this is the last trigonometric ratio. So tangent alpha is opposite side over adjacent side. Keep in mind that you can only use this in a right triangle. Application now. So exercise one, consider the right triangle ABC at C and you're given the length of all of the sides. Now calculate cosine CAB. I'll keep the definitions in front of you. So these are the trigonometric ratios. Now in order to calculate cosine CAB, so cosine A, this angle, it's adjacent side over hypotenuse. What's the adjacent side of A? It's AC over the hypotenuse, which is AB. AB is the hypotenuse since it's facing the right angle. So, cosines. first you should state that ABC is right triangle at C to be able to use these rules. Now, so cosine CAB is adjacent side over hypotenuse, as I said, so it's a 12 over 13 because it's AC over AB. CAB, so sine A also. So sine of any angle in a right triangle would be opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite side of A over the hypotenuse. So opposite side of A is CB and the hypotenuse is AB. So it's 5 over 13. 
Now sine CBA. So sine CBA. So the angle B. Also, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Which which one is the opposite side of B? It's AC over the hypotenuse, which is AB. So it's a 12 over 13. This is the solution. Finally, tangent CBA. So tangent B, according to the rule, it's opposite over adjacent. So what's the opposite of B? It's AC over the adjacent, which is CB. So it's a 12 over 5. Now let's do another exercise. This is exercise 2. You have this right triangle. And you have the side of CB and the measurement of angle C. And you need to find X. So how do you think about this exercise and which trigonometric ratio to use? So with respect to C, the side CB is adjacent side to C. And AC for sure is the hypotenuse because it's facing 90. So which rule combines both the hypotenuse and the adjacent side? I put the ratio again in front of you. So the, rule that the ratio that combines both the, the adjacent and the hypotenuse is the cosine of the angle. So I will use that. Cosine 12 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 8 over x. So now you can find the value of x. So since ABC is right at B, then cosine BCA, because again, you can't use these ratios if the triangle is not right. So cosine BCA is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's CB over AC, as we said. Now replace cosine BCA by cosine 12 and CB by 8 and AC by X. Now do cross multiplication. You'll get that X is 8 over cosine 12. Now how do you calculate this? Just put it on your calculator. There is a button written on it cosine. So write 8 over cosine 12. It'll give you 8.18. Now we'll also solve a similar exercise to this. So exercise 3, you have this triangle and you're asked to calculate AB. So again, how do we think about this exercise? The same way we thought about it in the previous one. So we have the measurement of the angle C and AC, we have the length of AC and it represents the adjacent side of the angle C. And we need to calculate AB, which represents the opposite side of C. So which ratio now combines the opposite and the adjacent side? So it's the tangent of the angle. So how do we solve this? In the right triangle, ABC at A, tangent of C is opposite side over adjacent, so it's AB over AC. Right? Now we replace tangent BCA by tangent 30 and AB, we need to find it so we keep it AB and AC, we replace it by 12. So now you still have to find AB, you do cross multiplication, AB would be 12 times tangent 35, so you'll get 8.4 using your calculator. Now this is a remark for any acute angle alpha, cosine alpha would be between 0 and 1 and sine alpha would be also between 0 and 1, but why? Because, as, as you know, cosine alpha is adjacent side over hypotenuse, right? So they are both positive numbers, so for sure uh, it will be a positive number, which is greater than 0. Now, why is it less than 1? Since it's adjacent over hypotenuse, and the adjacent, for sure, it's less than the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuse is the largest side in a right triangle. So if you're dividing, um, if you have a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator, then this fraction would be absolutely less than 1. Same for sine alpha. Now, if x and y are complementary angles, then cosine x equal to sine y and cosine y is equal to sine x. What does this mean? So if x is 30, for example, and y is 60, then cosine 30 would be sine 60 and cosine 60 would be sine 30. So if you don't remember, complementary angles are angles that sum up to 90. Now, this is the last exercise that we will solve in this video. It's taken from the official exams. So consider a, right tri a triangle ABC and designate by H the foot of height relative to BC. H is, it is between B and C. Given that AC is equal to 6 and cosine HCA is equal to 2 over 3. Now since you're not required to draw it, just sketch it. So pause the video and sketch the figure. The sketch of this figure. Now calculate. Uh, I marked the angle C just to remember that I have cosine HCA by given. Okay, and this is 6. Now calculate CH and AH. So I need to calculate first CH. So what do I have? I only have 6, the length of AC, and I have the measurement of the angle. So since I have the side and measurement of, a, of an angle, you should think about trigonometric ratios. 
I can't use Pythagoras theorem, for example, because I only have the measurement of one side. So, which trigonometric ratio should I choose? But remember, before using the trigonometric ratios, you should choose a right triangle to be able to use them. So, logically, since I want the length of CH, so I'll choose CHA. This is a right triangle at H. Now, which trigonometric ratio should I use? So, with respect to C, CH is an adjacent side. And I have AC, which is hypotenuse. Again, which rule combines both the adjacent side and the hypotenuse? So it's cosine of the angle, which is already given. So we will use cosine of C is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's CH over CA. So this is the solution. In a right triangle AHC at H, cosine C is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's CH over AC. Now, by given cosine ACH is 2 over 3, CH we need to find it and AC is 6 also by given do cross multiplication you'll get that CH is equal to 4 Now you're asked to calculate AH So AH now you have the measurement of CH and you have the measurement of AC So by Pythagoras you can get the measurement of AH do it by yourself. This is the final answer Now part 2 knowing that tangent HBA so now you have tangent of this angle is 2 radical 5 over 5 calculate BH and BA so let's start by BH calculate BH so also what do you, let's choose the right triangle that has BH as a side so obviously it's BHA now you have the you have tangent of this angle and you need the measurement of BH what else do you have you have AH from the previous part right so, since you have this angle, what does BH represent to this angle? It's the adjacent side. What does AH represent to this angle? It's the opposite side. So, which one combines the opposite and the adjacent side? It's the tangent of the angle, and it's already given. So, we'll use that in this right triangle, tangent HBA, HBA is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So, this is the solution opposite over adjacent, so it's, it's AH over BH. Now replace tangent HBA by 2 radical 5 over 5 by given, and replace AH by 2 radical 5, you did it in part 1. You still have to get BH, so do cross, cross multiplication, you'll get that BH is equal to 5. Now then you're asked to find the measurement of AB. So now in this triangle, right triangle, you have the measurement of BH and the measurement of HA, so you can do AB by Pythagoras, also do it by yourself. Part 3. Calculate the area of triangle ABC. So the area of the triangle ABC is height times base over 2. This is the rule. Now what's the height in this case? For, su for sure I'll choose this height, AH. Um, and the base is BC over 2. Now what's the measurement of AH? We did it in part 1. So the measurement of AH is 2 radical 5. Now what's the measurement of BC? We don't have the measurement of BC, but we do have BH and HC. BH is 5 cm by part 2, and HC is 4 cm by part 1. So BA BC would be 9 cm. So replace them, and you'll get the answer. Now, this is the last idea in this video. So suppose that you have that the cosine of an angle X is equal to half. How do you find X? So how do you find the angle? Uh, for which cosine of this angle would be half using your calculator for sure. So using your calculator you put You have that X is shift cosine of half So you put shift cosine on your calculator of half you will get 60 Same if you have sine of X is equal to 0 and you need to find the angle X So press on your calculator shift sine of 0 you will get 0 so X is 0 Same for tangent X equal to 1 on your calculator press shift tangent of 1 you will get 45 which is x so x is 45 degrees that's all for this video we will continue the rest of the objectives in the next video and thanks for watching